today I'm going to show you four best places to live here in New Bedford. You do not want to miss this video. I'm going to be walking around the neighborhoods, show you uh, what you can find here, what uh, you can expect. So please stay tuned for this video. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Roberto. I am a local realtor here in New Bedford and I go around the New Bedford area and I do this kind of vlogs, the neighborhood tours to help you decide. So if you are thinking about moving to New Bedford, feel free to reach out. You can send me a text, you can call or you can send me an email and I'll be more than happy to help you. Now, this, uh, this neighborhood that I'm walking right now, this one is the Buttonwood Park neighborhood. And just quick a disclaimer, all of these neighborhoods are great. I'm not trying to uh, steer in any way. It all depends on your lifestyle, what you're looking for. Some people like to stay close to the water. Some people like to stay uh, close to the highway. Uh, so this will kind of give you an idea where uh, you want to stay. So this one is the Buttonwood Park uh, neighborhood which is this very uh, decent neighborhood here there's uh there's an elementary school right here behind me that's an elementary school and you're not too far from the highway 140 north which is that's where you know if you're going to be uh, going to boston and you're going to find a lot of the single family homes in this area and the other thing about this neighborhood too is the the hospital the san luke's hospital you're not too far from the san luke's hospital and if you see uh, all the leaves on the on the ground right now because we are going to fall season but it is a uh, beautiful day today in, in the high um, 60s so I'm just gonna walk around the neighborhood show you uh, what you can find here and then we'll move to the next one and this uh, neighborhood here so this you're not too far from the from the beach now from the deep north end you're a little bit far. It's about, I would say, probably like 20, 20, 25 minutes drive. And um, from, uh, from here to, which is in the northern area, that's where you're gonna find all the, most of the stores there. You're gonna find Market Basket. And, but if you wanna stay somewhere close to where you can get on the highway and you can um, also this neighborhood too. You're not too far from North Dartmouth, which is uh, North Dartmouth. That's where you're gonna find all the big uh, stores like Walmart, Best Buy, Target, which is uh, which is some people sometimes they you know they like to stay very close to the stores. And uh, you know I have a lady that reached out to me one day. She wanted to move to uh, she wanted to move to New Bedford, but she wanted to stay somewhere very close to the beach. So I ended up uh, meeting with her and I showed her the area. Now, uh, you know, she ended up moving to New Bedford and she, uh, she rented for three months. Now she's in the process of buying her home. So, you know, that's why you, if you feel free to reach out to me, I could definitely uh, show you around. I know every uh, area here in New Bedford, been here for a very long time. I know exactly what, um, what people are looking for. So feel free to uh, contact me and I'll be uh, more than happy to help you. Uh, let me safety, uh, safety cross the street. So you can see this area here is very quiet here. You, you know, you don't really see too many cars driving by. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a nice area. And tomorrow is actually Halloween. This is actually um, my neighborhood. I, you know, I don't live too far from here. I'll be, uh, I'll be bringing my kids to, tomorrow here around this uh, area to get candy. We do it every year and you might find uh yeah you're gonna find some of the multi-family homes here too even if you are thinking about investing buying some multi-families this is a very uh, it's a great area here to invest now some of the homes in this neighborhood can be uh can be pricey sometimes you know it can be more expensive than the other areas and let me see if they cross the street now in this uh, area too, there's a uh, there's a uh, Domino's. There's I think there's yeah Domino's, Dunkin' Donuts, and there's also oh from this area too, you're not too far from uh, New Bedford High, and the uh, middle school here too. You're just a couple minutes away, and also too the houses on the market here, sometimes they uh, they don't last as this is a very high desirable area. And I did a vlog um, near the, I did a vlog at the uh, zoo, the Buttonwood Park. If you haven't seen that one, uh, go to my channel. You can check that out. 
let me uh, safety cross the street yeah there's so many leaves on the on the street yeah you know it's we're going to fall season and the other thing about new Bedford, once we go to winter time it does get very cold as you know new england it gets really cold uh, during winter time so if you don't like winter uh you're probably not gonna like new Bedford. um you know, i wouldn't move to new england if you don't like winter time because it does get very cold and we do get heavy snow sometimes and you know I, although we haven't seen uh you know heavy snows in uh, for the past few years but you never know some people are predicting this winter to be very cold so if you're uh, you know if you're moving to new Bedford, that's something that you need to be prepared for because it gets really cold here you know some days you know new england the weather is very uh it's very unpredictable some days we go from 30 degrees to 60 degrees and then some days we just go straight to cold like today it's very nice and tomorrow is looking very nice too in the in the 70s which is pretty nice for a uh, halloween and this street right now oh that's uh i don't know if you can see behind me that's a nice cost uh nice decoration for halloween now this street right now that i'm walking this is a uh, hawthorne street which is um this is where if you go if we walk uh, all the way up this is where it's gonna i'm gonna take you to show you guys the hospital and uh then we'll uh then i'm gonna go to uh to the other uh, neighborhoods so keep on watching this might be a long video but you get the idea about the area and it's safe to cross the street all right so yeah we got some beautiful uh, beautiful homes here now some homes on this street sometimes can be very expensive uh, and sometimes too you will find uh, some of the uh, those bigger homes here on this street like some of the homes here can uh, can range anywhere between like can go from 1 million and up in fact there's actually there's one on the market right now it's uh, you know it's a big it's a big home and i think it's listed for 1.6 million dollars so you know it can be very expensive this is going to be a good exercise for me i'm doing a lot of walking today uh, and if you guys can do me a favor if you guys want to see more uh, vlogs like like this more like where i could go and show the neighborhoods if that's something you want to see more on this channel uh, leave a comment below and uh, feel free to uh, to give a like you know i do these vlogs all the time and i enjoy doing them even though it takes me uh, takes me time to do these vlogs but you know i really you know, like doing them and so i can uh, i get to show people around too i get to show people the the beautiful city here in beffer i you know, i love new beffer's great city a lot to offer here we have the beach and uh, uh, plenty of things to do some of the best um, uh, restaurants you're gonna that's where you're gonna find here in uh, in Ubefer. and actually let me show you guys something for those that work uh, for those that do uh, a CNA for those that work at the nursing home there's actually one right here if you are you know, if you're gonna be working uh, you know at the nursing home there's one right here if you see that building right there that's uh that's a nursing home right there and that's actually uh, that's what my wife does she works at the at, she does home care and she works at the nursing ho uh, home and you know if you're going to be working if you're going to be looking for a job the nursing home then there's a plenty here in uh in Obefer. and you can see this road is you know it's a little bit busy uh cars drive here all the time and we almost uh we are very close to the hospital i've been walking now for the for the past 10 minutes at least it's not cold it's nice today and i want to show you guys something for those that have dogs in this area here you can uh it's very nice to walk you can walk with your dogs and i actually you know i do my uh my morning uh jogging routine all the time around this area and you know if you're asking 
A lot of questions that I get asked too is people ask about the safety here in Ubefor. People ask about the crime. Uh, how is the how is the area in terms of crime? And, I mean, I can't really talk much about crime, but it's what I can think. One thing I can say is this is a very uh, it's a safe neighborhood. Um, you know, I live in this area. I've been living here for the for about seven years, and I never had any problem. And you know, it is a safe it's a safe neighborhood here. Let me see if I can cross the street. Let me see if they cross the street. I'll show you guys something. So right here, uh, so right here, if you have, if you have dogs, you can bring your dog here. This is a, it's a big field here. People bring their dogs in. Uh, you can play around with your dog and I am going to show you guys the hospital. Give me one second. And um, the other thing about this area too, uh, near the Bottomwood Park, there's a, there's a nice uh, walking trail there. People walk there all the time, especially during the summertime. And you know, it's beautiful there. There's a lot of trees, there's parks. Uh, there's a big field there. They play sports. They play football, baseball, and if you see, that's the sign for the hospital, which is right here on Page Street. And look, some of those big homes there. It's a beautiful, beautiful area here. This is the this is the hospital St. Lucas. So for me, I wanted to stay very close to the hospital, and uh, both of my kids were born at this hospital. It's a very distant uh, area here. So if you want to stay very close to, uh, to the hospital, then you might want to choose this, uh, this neighborhood too. And if you're in the northern area, that's going to be, you're going to be a little bit far from the hospital, probably like 20, 25 minutes drive. But um, this is the hospital here. And you know, I would love to fly my drone here, but I can't fly it uh, over here. And now, I'm gonna now. I gotta w uh, walk back to my car. I still. I, I got about. I got about 10 minutes walking to my car. Then I'm gonna drive to the next uh, next neighborhood. So keep uh, keep on watching. We still have three more uh, neighborhoods to go. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next neighborhood. Now this one is the north side and this one is deep north end. From here you are far from the hospital and you are far from the beach. You are at least 
20-25 minutes drive to the, to the hospital and at least 30 minutes drive um, to the beach and now this right here is you are very close to the highway 140 south and 140 north which uh, if you're going to be going to Boston this area right here will put you on the highway in no time and the registry of uh, the registry of motor vehicle is right down the street and there's a Dunkin Donuts here too grab your coffee before you hit the highway uh, you know, before you go to work we have the the Dunkin Donuts right here and let me be careful because this area is very busy so this is deep north end and uh, north end is one of the uh, most uh, high desirable area this is the this is the neighborhood with the most amenities this is where you're going to find most of the schools this is where you're going to find all the stores like uh, uh, the grocery stores like market basket to have stop and shop and if you stick around i'm going to show you one of the stores that they just opened on uh, king's highway plaza i'm super happy that they brought that store back we had one uh probably like 15 16 years ago but they got rid of it but i'm so happy they brought it back i haven't been there yet i was on vacation uh, i went to my country for about a month i just got back but uh i'm going to uh, check them out i used to love that store and um I did a vlog in the northern area a couple a couple months ago, and I guess I kind of did more uh, towards the like the Kushnit area. I received some negative comments. People were saying I only show the crappy areas, uh, so I'll, uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of the northern side. This is uh, so this is a deep deep north end, and uh, I'm going to drive to the. And I'm going to drive. I'll show you guys uh, maybe some schools, and uh, it is still hot and then you can see a lot of leaves here and this road is you know it's kind of busy it's a busy road and um you know as you have the highway right there and there's also some uh some uh, commercial buildings i think i believe in this area you're gonna be uh gonna be working in this area here and again the questions that i get asked all the time i get emails uh people uh, asking me about uh the safety you know of course, people, uh, everybody wants to live in a safe area. Everybody wants to say where, they, you know, there's, uh, there's no crime. So, um, again, you have to do your research on that. And what you can do, I think there's a site where you could go and put, uh, I think you put the address or the zip code. you get the crime of history around that area. And the other thing that you can do too, you can uh, contact the police department. You can ask questions about that area, ask questions about the crime. You know, as a, you know, I am, I'm just a real, a real estate agent, so I can't really give you advice on uh, on crime. But you do your own research. And let's see, I'm trying to cross the street here, but it's kind of it's very busy road here. And it's a very uh, beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful day here. And we have uh, tomorrow is Halloween. This is a, it's a decent area too to get candies. Now this is not my area. I'm, you know, I, I'm a, I am like 20, 25 minutes from this area, so I don't really come to this area here. Now I do, I do uh, shop at Market Baskets, one of my favorite uh, grocery stores here in the Now the, you know, the only thing with the Market Basket, it is busy most of the time. It is packed, especially if you go uh, during the like the weekends. It is very busy. So many people there but other than that they have great stuff there great uh, great prices so if you are if you want to stay somewhere very close to the grocery stores then i would uh, recommend the north uh, the north area
again. This is a grocery store. It's called uh, Truchis or Truchis. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I don't shop over here. This is not my area here. Uh, but a lot of people like this store too. So uh, if you're familiar with that, I usually go to Market Basket and there's a couple of gas stations. Uh, there's a gas, couple of gas stations here, Walgreens, uh, an elementary school. So, uh, you know, North End has a, has a lot to offer. Now, the North End area is a lot uh, louder than, uh, than uh, other areas here. And, you know, there's more, uh, especially during the Akushnet F. There's more cars driving by. There's, you know, more uh, stores there compared to some other neighborhoods here. Let me be careful here. Oh, people are running me over. Now, let me, uh, let me show you guys some, uh, some schools and some, show you guys some more stores. This is Vogue Tech High here in the north uh, area. This is another high school. This, this is actually a very uh, good school and I, I think you have to have good grades to uh, get accepted in the school. So if you're looking to stay very close to some of the better schools here in the Beffer, then I would highly recommend the north area. You know, the north area is, uh, is a lot bigger than, uh, than other uh, neighborhoods here. And, you know, there's a lot to offer here in the north area. And this is a, this is a decent uh, community here, decent area. Maybe if you're looking to retire, you're looking for a place where you can stay very close to all these amenities, I suggest you check out the north area. And the other thing too is the, um, the airport is in the north area. If you're going to be uh, flying a lot, whether for work or whatever, whatever reason, uh, then you might want to check the north area. And there's a big cemetery here. And next thing that we're gonna, that I'm going to show is, oh, um, the other thing too, we're we're gonna have one uh, one station. I mean, a station one, uh, yeah, one station for uh, for the train. It's gonna be uh, on Church Street which is uh, the train is supposed to be ready by spring 2025 but we'll see because they've been saying that for for years but um, you know they're working on it right now so hopefully uh, it's ready in 2025 there's more people moving to New Bedford there's people coming from New York uh, people coming from Connecticut uh, you know New Bedford is uh, you know they're building new schools they're actually building one uh, a brand new uh, elementary school in the south which is, uh, that's a plus, because we need more schools here in a Beffer. Uh, you know, the education system here is not the best, but uh, New Beffer is becoming very, uh, very nice. I mean, it's a beautiful city, New Beffer. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things to do here during summertime. You know, so many uh, places here that you can go, uh, great restaurants. I mean, if you live in New Beffer, you know what I'm talking about. This is King's Plaza. Uh, without a doubt, this is, the best plaza here in New Bedford. You could pretty much find almost everything here. We have uh, McDonald's, you have Burger King, Wendy's, Stop and Shop, uh, Savers, uh, we got the liquor stores, Dollar Tree, uh, Jabala, I mean, you name it. There's everything, everything you'll find here. And there's a new restaurant coming uh, here too soon. And oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you that store that they just opened. Uh, here so this is in the northern this is what you get in the northern area you get all these amenities that's the benefit of uh, of living in the in the northern area um, without a doubt northern is one of the i would say one of the best uh, area to live if you want to stay close to all these amenities you got to choose the northern area because um in the south end there's not that many amenities and also in the west there's not that many amenities like the northern yeah check it out there's no store uh, all is building 19 super happy they, they brought the store back who remembers the one we had here um, probably like 15 16 years ago and yeah, now they brought this one back and I mean this building been empty for a uh, long time but I'm, uh, I'm happy they brought this back I haven't been there yet I gotta check them out also we're gonna have the new uh, Mexican restaurants coming soon Caliente so you know there's a lot of new, uh, new things coming to, uh, to New Bedford and right here actually we have the gym too we got the workout world the gym got a chinese restaurant you know, i'm telling you king's plaza is one of the best plaza here in the north end you gotta you gotta stay close to uh gotta live in the north
So this one is the west side, which is not too far from the Bottomwood Park area. And this is where the Nubefa High is. Also right next to uh, the high school. There's a middle school there too. And here, that's an elementary school right here, which uh, my uh, nephew actually goes there. And this one is a very uh, it's a nice, uh, decent neighborhood too. It is safe because, you know, that's what uh, I get asked the most, which, uh, which uh, are some of the safest uh, neighborhood here in Ubefer. And, uh, you know, sometimes a lot of people say, uh, they talk about the crime here in Ubefer. They say it's bad. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to say Ubefer is safe. It's just like any, uh, it's like any other city, cities here in uh, Massachusetts, some areas might be safe some areas might not uh, be safe so you have to do your research so it's important that you work with somebody that really knows the area that can kind of put you in a in the best uh, best area but do your research and um, but this area is really nice I, I know every corner of New Beffer and just in case you uh, in case you didn't know too here the garbage um, you know we don't pay for the for the garbage I know in some uh, other areas I think like Cape Cod you pay, uh, you pay for the garbage, and I think uh, West Ports too, uh, you pay for the garbage. Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I think I heard somebody uh, said something about that before. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is a, it's a nice area here. You're going to find a lot of the single-family homes here. It's uh, nice and quiet here. And next thing, I'm going to walk to New Bethel High, show you guys the schools, and I'll show you the middle school. And the other thing here in New Bethel, uh, new construction homes. You are not going to find that many because um, New Bedford is a, uh, it's an old city. So a lot of these homes are uh, old. Um, some of these homes are built in, uh, you know, in, in the, in the 19s, even uh, 1800s. So some of these homes can be very old. And I'm actually going to show you guys two uh, new construction homes that they're building uh, right now here in this area. And, you know, those will be moving fast. There was two uh, new construction homes that they built. Uh, those were sold fast too. And, um, and then we're gonna go to the next uh, neighborhood. Oh, there's actually another thing too that I wanna show, uh, that I'm gonna show you here in this area. There's a nice uh, dog park that they built. Um, I was probably like five, six years ago in this area. So if you have dogs, you want to stay in a, in a, in a area where you could take your dog and it, so it's nice and quiet, then uh, you might want to choose this area here in the, in the west side. We're about to go to uh, November and it is hot. That's, this is why the weather here in New England is so unpredictable. It was cold in the morning, now it's hot, you know, it's in cl almost close to 70s. Tomorrow is looking, uh, I think it's going to be like 75. And, you know, that's it's very, uh, the weather here, it's very, very unpredictable. And we do have those cold, cold mornings, and, you know, especially um, around like uh, January and uh, February. That's when it gets really cold, so you definitely got to prepare for that. And this road right here, this is Rockdale Ave, which actually goes all the way, uh, all the way down to, uh, to Southend. And from this area here, you're just three to four minutes from the Highway 140 North. That will take you to Boston. And also, there's a highway there that will take you to uh, like Fall River and then uh, go, uh, go to Rhode Island. And let me see if I can safety cross the street. I want to show you a uh, new construction home that they are building in this area here. So if there's something that you are interested, you have to move quick. You, you know, you got to move quick because these uh, homes, they don't last on the market. It's very uh, rare to find new construction homes here in Ubefra. So when they build them, you, you got to be able to move quick. That's why you got to reach out. You got to, you got to act fast because there's literally people waiting for them, uh, for them to be uh, to be ready, so because they don't build that many uh, new construction homes here. Uh, but this road is uh, yeah, it's a little bit busy here, especially during uh, during the the rush hour when uh, when the kids are getting off the schools. You know, it's a little bit busier. Let me safe cross the street, 
And these are, you know, a lot of single family homes here. My sister actually lives in this area here. Very, uh, very nice area, very safe. They're building these uh, two new construction homes. Damn, they build them fast. They just started like a month ago and they, you know, they're already uh, up there. They're already installing the roof. So if you want something like this in this area, you gotta move quick because these doesn't last. They just built two new construction uh, homes uh, in this area, I would say uh, probably like six months ago, uh, but they moved fast. So reach out to me. I'll get in touch with the, I'll uh, contact you with the owner, with the new builder, but these, they move fast. And look at this, how cool is this? Nice dog park that they built here in the west side, right next to uh, Nubefa High. This uh, was built, I would say probably like six years ago. So if you have dogs, you wanna stay somewhere where you can bring your dog, then you definitely uh, wanna choose this area. You know, there's not that many dog parks here in Ubefer, but this one is pretty cool. It's nice and quiet here. Um, and I think if you come, uh, there's sometimes when you come, it's, could, you know, it could be crowded, but it's, uh, it's really nice here. Now, let me show you guys the high school. So this is Nubefa High. I actually graduated from this school. Comment below if you graduated from this school. And right next to Nubefa High, we have the uh, Kid Middle School. So the Nubefa High, it's in the west side. If, you are, if you're gonna be living in the north end, let's say deep north end, you are about 20, 20 minutes away. And the other thing too, when you live very close to, uh, to the school, they're not gonna give you the bus, at least not when I was coming to this school. So I used to live in the west side. So I had to walk to schools and uh, during the winter time, it can be, uh, can be tough, it can be hard. You know, it gets really cold in the morning. But if you're somewhere in the south or in the north, they're gonna give you, a, they're gonna give you the bus. So this is the high school now. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, now I'm going to walk back to my car. And you know, it's about 10 minutes walking to my car. And today, like I said, it's a good exercise for me. I'm getting tired, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys a few more neighborhoods before I end this video. Let me give you a quick update about Nubefra's real estate market. Now, the homes now here in Nubefra has becoming very expensive. It's nothing compared to before. You know, there's so many people now having difficult, difficulty time uh, affording a home here. The rents are going up. Yeah, you know, there's something that you need to be prepared. If you're gonna buy a home here in Nubefra, you're not gonna find, uh, I think, the, the homes here. The cheapest one you might find is right under 350,000 but you have you can expect to pay over 400,000 and up you know even 500,000 when before a couple of years back the homes used you know used to be around 200,000 even uh, multifamily homes you know you could uh, let's say 6 7 years ago you could buy those for 250,000 but now that's not the case here anymore the homes are becoming very expensive for multifamily homes here you can expect to pay anywhere between 550,000 and up. So that's something that you need uh, to prepare. And, um, you know, I just wanted to update you there on the market. And if you're gonna be renting, now, if you're gonna be renting uh, a multifamily homes where, you know, you're gonna be with the other tenants, let's say you wanna rent two bedrooms, one bed, that's, uh, you know, that's gonna cost you around 1,500, all the way up even two thousand dollars that's going to depend on the size the location so make sure you prepare for that and the other thing too is you need to have the the down payment i mean not the down payment the security deposit and uh, you need to have the first and last most uh, landlords now they ask for that so you're going to be moving here to the buffer you have to make sure that you're ready you got to prepare and here in the west end you have this uh, cool uh, a grill uh, a nice uh, place here for breakfast I uh, I haven't been there yet most of the time I go to IHOP in North Dartmouth but I see a lot of people uh, they, they go there so um, you know if you live in this area end up moving to this area and this is a place where you could go for breakfast here now let me cross the street if you cross the street I'll be careful because it's very busy road so now I'm gonna walk back to my car and let me move to the next neighborhood before I uh, end this video. And if you are enjoying this video so far, give it a like and comment if you have any questions.
Uh, this one is uh, Southern, Deep Southern, and this one is one of my favorite. It offers uh, everything uh, kind of like my lifestyle, which is uh, this is uh, that's where the beach is, and also this is where you, you know you can ride your bike here. Super nice. So that's kind of what I like to do. I you know during summertime I like to come over here, I like to fish, and I also like to ride my bike. So if that's your lifestyle, and also there's a boat ramp um, down the street there too. You can bring your boat here. Uh, let me safe cross the street. Show you the beach. Let me go here. Yeah, so if you're somebody that likes to stay very close to the beach, then you wanna check out the south the south area. Now this is kind of deep uh, southern, and now from here to uh, to the north. You're, you're kind of far. You're at least 30, you're at 25 minutes drive. You could take the highway 118, will bring you to the, to the northern area. And here in this area, there's not that many amenities. You're just gonna find a lot of the single family homes and uh, you know, there's not that many like parks or uh, schools. So uh, we have, uh, there's one uh, new police station that they built uh, probably like three years ago. Uh, but um, if you want more amenities, you have to choose the northern area, uh, you know, not, not over here. Now, during the winter time, it is very cold in this area because it's so close to the water, so it does get really cold. And during the summertime, it's really nice. People come here all the time. This place is packed. I mean, it's empty right now because we're, uh, we're almost, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're going to fall season right now. So obviously nobody's... It's gonna to come to the beach and the water gets cold and usually around like May, uh, May, June, it starts to get to get hot. And the other thing about here, New England, sometimes we have some long winters. It feels like, you know, it takes forever to, to go to summertime. And, but during the summertime, this area here is packed. It's, and right here in this parking lot, they do fireworks every summertime. People uh, fish there all the time. And now I'm not sure if you need uh, flood insurance in this area. And some people have a vacation home here. And uh, yeah, this area here, it's really, really nice. You can ride your bike. I did a complete vlog tour in this area um, a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't seen that one, go to my channel and go on uh, Nubefa playlist. You'll find it there. Let me, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of houses and uh, what you can uh, expect to find here in this area, but there's really not that many amenities in this area. And here you got this uh, big soccer field here. I used to play here all the time. Uh, I don't play as much as I used to, but I, you know, I love playing soccer. My uh, son, he loves playing soccer too. So if you have a kid that they, you know, they like playing soccer, we have one here on the south end and then we have another one um, here. I think we have another field here too. And there's a new uh, elementary school that they're building over there. Because here in the south area, there's, uh, there's not that many schools. I think there's one, uh, there's one middle school, Roosevelt Middle School, and uh, there's a couple of elementary schools. But you know, the high school is going to be in the, in the west. From here to west, it's about 10, 15 minutes drive. And you know, from uh, here to north, the, the other school, the high school, the Vogue Tech, it's about uh, 15 minutes drive, I would say. So. If you want to stay very close to, to the high school, then you might want to choose the north or, or the, um, the west because the south end, it is going to be a little bit further. And the other thing too, when uh, if you live far away from, uh, I mean, if you, live, if you live over here, you will get the bus to go to Nubefa High. So um, that's the plus and uh, you know, there's a lot of mix of single family homes and there's also uh, there's also a uh, multi-family homes here too if you're an investor. If you look to invest, this is actually a great area to invest. You buy one of those multi-family homes, you can rent them out right now. The current rent market right now in this area right here is right around $1,500 to $2,000. Depends on the size and uh, you know, if you want to buy one uh, multi-family home here in this area, you know, it's going to cost you anywhere between uh, 550,000 and up and the market here in Obafa is still very competitive even though uh, it's fall season but it is still very competitive I'm working with a lot of buyers right now you still can't find uh, 
know, the, uh, the mini homes on the market. The inventories are still very low. But, uh, you know, it is something that if you're gonna buy a home, it is something that you kinda gonna have to be patient here because the inventories here are very low. There's so many people are buying homes here. They don't really last on the market. The average days that they usually stay on the market is right around uh, 35, 30, 35 days or less. And a lot of the homes are selling for 70% over asking price so if you're a seller trying to sell your home right now uh, it's, you know, it's a great time to sell people are still uh, looking to buy a home here as the inventories are still very low so don't uh, don't miss this opportunity if you want to get on the market and i can only imagine during the springtime uh, i can only imagine how crazy the market is going to be back if the rates drop it's going to be really uh, it's going to be really tough it's going to be really uh, hard to, uh, to buy a home during the springtime here in Bethlehem. Yeah, these are some of the beautiful uh, single family homes here in the southern area. There's actually a, there's a new construction home they're building over there. And that's the other thing too in this area, you're not gonna find that many you know, construction homes here. And you usually not, you're not gonna find that many homes on the market sometimes. You know, I help, I help people get off market, but it's, uh, it's, uh, you're not gonna find that many homes here on the market. As you know, people, uh, they keep their homes here. Some of these are for vacation and people don't sell them. And the cool thing about this area too is I see people here, you could, if you have your boat, you could, uh, you know, park your, uh, put your boat uh, on the driveway and you're just three, three, I would say three minutes away from the beach, for, uh, from the ramp right there that you can uh, bring your boat, super cool. Again, it all depends on your lifestyle, what you're looking for. And I am very familiar with New Bedford. I know every corner here of New Bedford. So if you're ever thinking about moving to New Bedford, don't hesitate to, uh, to reach out to me. You could just send me an email or you can even get on a Zoom call with me. We can discuss your, uh, your real estate needs and uh, what area you want, to, uh, you want to move. And if you're thinking about uh, renting first before you uh, buy a home here too, which a lot of people uh, do that. Like the lady that I'm helping right now, she she rented for about three months. Now she's uh, definitely sure that she wants to live in Obefford, so that's another option that you have. Some people just straight up just uh, buy a home here in Obefford. And from this area, uh, from the south, you are, I would say about 20, uh, 10 minutes from South Dartmouth, which is another great area there too. I did a vlog there. Uh, that was kind of, I would say probably like eight months ago. It was still winter time when I did that vlog. And I might do another one there too. Uh, you know, but I think, I think this is, you get the point. I mean, this is very nice and quiet here. Very safe here. Beautiful, beautiful homes. Like I said, it's, it's very hard to find a, a home for sale in this area. We have this brand new construction right now that they're building that's going to be for sale. And like I said, it's, uh, when, whenever they do new construction homes, you have to act fast. You have to get in touch with the builder fast because they're not going to last on the market. It's hard to find the new construction homes in this area. But this looks like it's going to be a very decent uh, size home here. Two uh, car garages. I'll probably uh, come do a, uh, a vlog here once it's ready. Uh, again, get in touch with me so you can... Uh, um, get these uh, new construction homes. Sometimes they don't even hit the market. Um, you know, there's so many people on the waiting list waiting for these new construction homes. So you definitely gotta act fast. Again, this is uh, just to give you, uh, just to give you an idea. Um, you know, this is based on what you are, what are looking for. If you want to stay very close to the beach, and uh, you know, just videos, just to kind of help you decide uh, what area you want to live. And uh, actually, uh, let me show you right here. There's, uh, there's a new construction uh, condominiums they uh, just built not too long ago. Uh, I believe there's still some on the market. These are luxury. Uh, Large condominiums right here that they just built, and I think it's two bedrooms, one bath. 
starting price at um, three, uh, 399, 399,000. There's actually a nice, um, there's actually a nice ice cream place here too that you can uh, go uh, during the summertime. This is area is a very uh, nice, quiet area. All of these areas uh, that I showed uh, in the videos, these are safe. And you know, New Bedford is uh, the crime rate has actually decreased uh, since 2021. It's not, you know, it's not like how it used to be. There's a, there's a lot of things coming to New Bedford and uh, across the street. Now, uh, yeah, you know, I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And oh, the other thing too here in the south, there's uh, this uh, Dunkin' Donuts, Burger King, uh, there's McDonald's, and you're not too far from uh, South Dartmouth. And we have another beach on the other side too, which is um, super nice too during summertime. It's very busy, and you know if you have any question, just feel free to reach out to me anytime. And, you know, if you guys enjoy this kind of videos, I'll uh, be doing more vlogs. Now it's going to be hard for me to make vlogs like these in the winter time. It's going to be really cold, but I will see. Uh, I'll see what, I'll, uh, what I can do. But until then, I'll see you uh, on the next uh, vlog.